Hi, I'm Jess Marquez, and these are an obvious boot, a uh, special request, 6.5A. Um, I am suffering from pandemic burn, but that's besides the point. This is the first time I've dressed up for Halloween in August and since I was a teenager and went in the box. But that was a metaphorical thing. So uh, these were quite a project, so I've just been working on them until I know that they were going to come out. Uh, I had the leather on hand, and these are going to be going towards my 100 fancy inlay boots. Um, I listened and watched a lot of different videos while I was working on, on Rosie about uh, the World War II women and, and obviously the feminine icon that, that she's always been, the, the J. Howard Miller poster from 1942, which obviously had more commercial and glam appeal than the Norman Rockwell image that was in 1943 um, of a more brawny looking uh, Rosie the Riveter. And of course she's wearing her mascara and lipstick and so am I today. <laughs> um, these were uh, really cool. Anything with a person on it, I've got to say, is really a challenge. Um, but at the same time, if I just work when I'm fresh and work in the morning after I've eaten at certain times when I know I think I can do better, um, I'll go for it. And um, I think that this is a really cool uh, American patriot boot. I know, you know there's certain themes that you see in cowboy boots over, over time, and I, I think an American patriotic boot is one of them. And so um, we decided to do some sort of American flag theme for the vamps. Um, and I think they finally worked out pretty good. But that's the thing about boots. You can't hit the undo button like you can when you're working on a computer doing graphic design. So every part builds on the next part. And I really hope that I'm getting better. Um, this is the very first stovepipe single piece top that I've done uh, since the very first um, pair of boots I did with my amazing mentor and maestro, uh, Roberto Robledo. And I have had other boot maker guys too. and. Um, couple women too that are doing boots and that have been really helpful to me in little bits of information or how they do something or how I do something and just these little different variations of how you make a boot. So um, I did this, I got my uh, a better and even more burly singer, um, a long arm to, to seam these on the back and um, I just, you know, you just have to keep going sometimes. You have to just say, hey, you know what, I can ride a horse. So when someone asks you, you think you can pull off Rosie the Riveter, um, obviously thought I could. So I frankly think this is about as good a job as I can do of recreating Rosie and in inlay. And I spent a lot of time on the face as well because you got to get the eyes and the lips. And I looked at the poster a lot um, to put this together. But one of my favorite themes is text. And I really like that we could do, we can do it. And that doesn't mean that I did not shed tears over this because I tend to be the emotional type. But at the end of the day, they finally came out and um, I'm really, I hope these will be really happily well received. Um, they are great six and a half A um, for somebody really special. And I really thank everybody for supporting my work and I'm coming back out onto social media. So thank you for watching. Please check it out, um, Bootmaker New Mexico on Instagram. And then I do my videos on YouTube and I also blog about um, each pair of boots as I number them and keep going what story kind of goes with them. Thanks for watching.